Catching lobsters is hard work. So it's three and a quarter inches on the top of the shell. And part of the job is making sure each lobster brought to shore meets federal regulations. So that one is legal by probably a quarter of an inch. John Borden has been lobstering in the Gulf of Maine for decades. He's one of the fishermen pushing back against new federal regulations that he says would be detrimental to his daily catch. Probably half of his catch, half of my catch will, will be either illegal or will get out by itself. The new rules are now being delayed until next July. They would force two changes. First, increasing the minimum lobster size by a few sixteenths of an inch over the next three years. This lobster will not be legal if this addendum goes through. Second, increasing the size of vents in lobster traps. These are essentially escape hatches inside lobster traps that allow the smaller lobsters to get out once they've been caught. But the lobster we spoke with say, with these new rules forcing them to get bigger, they'll end up losing out on lobsters that are perfectly legal to catch and bring back to shore. Regulators tell News 9 their goal is to protect the long-term health of the fishery, and the rules come in response to a documented fall in the number of young lobsters. We're looking at those lobsters that would be, it's kind of foreshadowing what would be available to the fishery coming in the next year. Um, and so for several years, we've seen declines. Borden says that he has his doubts about the research regulators are using to trigger these new rules, and he's hoping the delay leads to them eventually being shelved altogether. You don't wear a raincoat if it's sunny out. Simple as that. I mean, we have plenty of lobsters. The lobster resource is very, very strong. In Portsmouth, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.